Hey, 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 YouTube, it is your girl, and I am here with a product review. I'm going to be reviewing the Melanin Hair Care, my customer service experience, how the product performs, and how I like the products. Now, I am going to let you know <laughs> that I did technically pay three separate orders. I wanted to see um, how shipping was, uh, product consistency, I wanted to test it on my hair thoroughly. You guys know that I do test in threes, meaning I wanted to try it three different times, three different ways. So I wanted to make sure when I come on camera, it ain't just always a first impressions or anything like that. So I want to make sure I tested it thoroughly before I got on camera and talked about the melanin hair care. So, um, we're going to start with customer service. I had a shipping issue. When I first placed my order, it was doing the pre-launch. And um, technically, I have a P.O. box. I ended up having to leave one P.O. box due to discrimination and get another P.O. box. But because um, I ordered within four hours of Whitney announcing the Melanin Hair Care products, it didn't launch until, I want to say, February. And that was back in maybe September of last year. So I had to try and change my order. I could not change my order. I tried to go in, I think it was linked before to some type of Amazon account. I couldn't change anything. So I ended up canceling my order. Um, when it got closer to the time of the product launching, there was a second launch. And I was like, okay, well, let me go ahead and uh, place my order with using the new P.O. box. Um, fine. I'm, I sent some type of email communication through Amazon asking them please cancel my order and I got a notification that said yes it was canceled. It wasn't until the launch of the product um, and the company was sending out shipping notice notifications that I noticed one of my shipping notifications was for the order that was supposed to have been canceled. I reached out to the company within three hours they responded they said basically I said hey I'm not at that shipping address um, can you please cancel my order so on and so forth they said oh no we'll just send it to the new address what's your address please confirm and I was like what so um, they ended up sending it to my old PO box but be due to discrimination issues I don't I don't go there so um, I'm hoping that they sent it back to the company so they got those two pro two I ordered two. Hopefully they got those two butters back. Um, the orders that I did go ahead and place all came to my new PO box. Customer service was great. Shipping be only because I ordered during the pre-launches and the maybe the first couple days of the official launch that my I it took maybe week and a half for me to get my package so um that's not bad it really is not bad but now that I see that the company is there and strong I do see people that are getting their packages within 24 hours which is great just wasn't for me but um okay now moving on if you follow me on Instagram you guys know when I first got the products and I posted a picture what I did notice first are these gaping holes <laughs> of missing product in the package it only happened on the pre-launched ones because I did place a total of three orders so um I posted pictures but I want you to kind of look at come on and look down deeper and there are other pockets just just other air bubbles and pockets but this yeah yeah mm. um i was not thrilled with that when my other orders came in they were filled up a little bit more so maybe doing quality assurance or what have you the pre-launch those slipped through the cracks it's a new company okay um let's see so what i did because i have i have a lot this is these two and these and 
and the and it's another one that I, I yeah it's another one on the floor so um I did consolidate what I could because I after I tested the product for the first time as a wash and go mm -mm. no the shrinkage baby this product what i've learned about this product is all about the method that you choose to get a certain style with my wash and go i really don't have time i want to be able to wash apply product and go that's it i, I don't don't have time to be pulling it back and in, in, in I, i'm trying to look at her videos how she's because i i really do believe that these products are based on the methods that natural 85 have come up with so i've tried doing some of her methods of the hair and pulling it back in the bun and then freeing it when i get to work no <laughs> it does not work for me and my fine thin 4a hair as a wash and go now um to help with that I took one of the containers because I have two with the big holes in them. Um, the other one is this one. And you can see it's used because it's hair in it. But as you can see, the consistency of this one is totally different. I had to manipulate the product in order to get it to work for me for a wash and go by adding more shea butter. So this is my thick er. It melts down just the same modified version for um, a wash and go. It helps to elongate my curls more because the butters are, it's, it's heavier. This is a, a lightweight product. So um, let's go back to the, uh, now this one is consolidated. Let me get another one. I have so much. So let's go back to this one. So this one very it's it's not as heavy and dense as um the one that i modified so we're going to be reviewing um these the ones that are not modified the ones that are not modified in the original version when i first tried it i put it on my my hand because i wanted to see if there was any stick any tack i wanted to see if this was natural 85's shea butter if this was her sticky pomade what is this? Um, what am I getting? There was no stick. There was no shine on my hand. My skin just absorbed it. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was a little confused. I really didn't think the product was going to perform well. It wasn't until I did um, her flat twist outs. And you kind of, you know, when you twist it, you kind of plait, twist to the scalp. And then you bring the um the end of the braid and you stretch it <laughs> do one of those numbers that i was in my hair the next day you, i'm gonna show you a video um you see my hair and i was like whoa okay i liked it now granted first day here with me it's always just so so but i like this one second day this is first day refreshed second day hair my curls were it's it was longer um, it was, I was in shocked. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and place that third order. Now the third order is where I got the oil and the scarf. Initially I had the hat. I already had the hat already. Um, so for a twist out, um, using curlers, using flexi rods, using, um, any type of roller type of any manipulation to my hair, it works beautifully with the length of my hair now going on to the root of my hair yeah um the fuzzies is still there the <laughs> the thickness you, you can kind of see with a curl even though i you know twisted it down to the root the roots of my hair it needs some assistance so I am definitely going to have to use different products now um, the products that I did use with this I tried it uh, alone with no leave-in it was pretty good I tried it with a leave-in um, and I loved it a lot of uh, companies don't 
I want to say speak to each other, but don't marry well with each other when it comes to um, products. We will get little white flakes, uh, ditty balls, um, residue on the hair, and the, the two products just do not marry together. They, they cannot coexist. This product has worked with every leave-in that I have tried. Every Curl Junkie, Love Naturals, uh, She Scented, I'm looking at my cabinet full of products, uh, DYI, Weiss Water, Aloe Vera, Raw Aloe Vera, it works with everything. So I absolutely love it. I had to really, really think about why I love this product so much and how it makes my hair feel and look. And then when I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, my cuticles on my hair, on the hair shaft itself, they're sealed. <laughs> you know, who does that? And I really, really, really have to think back on what other product in my arsenal that I had that sealed my cuticles like this elongating butter there was only one other product that did that unfortunately the original version is discontinued so i did go back and purchase um the newer version which is the love love naturals love me and leave me moisture and seal this was the original one was the one that i could twist with this stuff and um get these type of results but with this newer version eh, it's not the same so this one it are it replaced that one that was the one that smelled like strawberries this one smells like lemon and no it's not the same <laughs> so it did replace that one it did not replace my own sweet hair pudding which i recently threw out because it is way past expired um because the hold in the melanin is light if I was to go outside and the humidity right now, my hair is going to poof up and it is going to get much bigger. I mean, just this little bit. You, yeah, it's going to get bigger. <laughs> um, so first day hair, it's a little flatter. Second day hair, it's a little bigger. Third day hair, it's... That'll probably be as big as it's gonna get for third day hair and then I can kind of work with it now um like I said this is a refreshed hair the, the product does not build up I mean just wow my hair drinks it and it doesn't build up I can reapply it or reapply I can reapply it or I can just refresh with a water mixture and be good to go okay so moving on from oh let me also say, let me go back to the original one. The original version, not my modified version. I ain't too fond of the scent. I'm going to just say that right there. It does have the raw shea. I smell Kupawachu. Other people say they smell the cocoa butter. I smell shea and Kupawachu butter. So, you can purchase scents. You can make your own scent. But if you use a leave-in and your leave-in is strong and scented, then you're going to smell the leave-in. Um, moving on to the oil. Also, this is the oil. If you see the jar, you know how we naturals are. The jar does not come full to the top. So this is my modified oil. You can, oh, I have a yellow dog on it. But you can see the difference in color because with this one, you guys know how I am about grain. I added omelet oil, pure raw omelet oil to it. But this is de um, how it comes. What I do like about this is the Oregon oil that's in it, which is a more of a softening oil. It keeps my hair so soft. Also, what I liked about it is the packaging itself. One, it's clear and it's see-through, and I love that. I love the spout on this. Let me show you this one. Because when I looked at it, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have to cut off the top. Oh, no, you don't. It's like that. It, it What? I loved it. So I don't have any seepage or anything coming out. Amazing. I did try it using um, the Lock Method Liquid Oil Cream. Works great. It's not too heavy and thick. It doesn't like have oils coming down my neck like some of the castor oils and stuff do. So I love it. So my final review final thoughts on the product as a wash and go for my hair my style what I'm looking for personally mm, 
no not so much for um a twist out which is kind of like my only other option that i wear on the length of my hair i love it um the oil yes um the fact that a little bit goes a long way i probably am not gonna have to repurchase for another two years <laughs> i do know that she announced in some of her vlogging that she is coming out with other versions people that are allergic to shea or certain nuts so i will be purchasing those <laughs> yes i will if she was to come out with anything else i want i would like for her to come out with anything else that she's mentioned on her channel so black soap shampoos uh, or Rasul Clay, that type of replacement of a Terra Essentials. Um, she did the oil. She did the, maybe a butter. Not just an elongated one because I do seal my ends with um, a butter mixture. So maybe a butter instead of a, a cream. Um, and maybe a conditioner to replace that. Trader, Trader Joe's tea tree tingle. You know, I, don't, I don't use that no way. So yeah, that's about it. I do love the product and I will be purchasing again. Talk to you guys later. Bye.